Oh, ho, ho, hello Clifford. And hello to all of my viewers. You guys already know if you clicked on today's video, it's your boy Bug coming through with yet again another banger. If this is your guys' first time tuning into the channel, first off, thank you. Hit that subscribe button so you can be like all the other fellow OGs. And to the OGs, what's poppin'? Welcome back. I am sure you guys have seen today's thumbnail and title and you're like, whoa, 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 what's going on? What is this? What are you, what are you doing? We're going to get into that right now. I am so freaking excited and just hyped. You guys can tell I'm smiling. It's a beautiful day. Obviously, I'm smiling. I'm alive. I'm happy. But I'm also super, super happy that I get to be doing today's video and showing you guys the new toy. Before I can show you the new toy, we got to go to it, which it is at our shop. So we are going to head there now. I'll show it to you and then I'm also bringing my drone. We're going up into the mountains and I'm going to get you guys some killer footage. So stay tuned for that. It is going to be sick. Also, I cleaned Clifford this morning. It's looking so good. Just look at the shine of those wheels. <laughs> One of the hardest wheels to ever keep clean, but it is most definitely worth it when it is done. To the shop we go. right there that is my fuel light that came on but don't worry I am not stopping we're gonna keep going and I'm not gonna stop till we get to the shop because I'm so excited to show you guys the new toy alrighty we finally made it to the shop what are you laughing Nothing. are you ready to go see the new toy yeah she has not yet seen it and I think she's gonna really really like it anyways let's go check it out can we all take a moment of silence and just appreciate how beautiful and clean Clifford is looking right now. You guys, go down and drop a like for Clifford. Alrighty, Bugsters and Bugettes. The machine is just on the other side of the store. Um, let's open it up. I'll give you guys a little walk through, a tour of it, and then we're taking it up right to those mountains. Show them, give them a nice little zoom in. That's where we're going. <laughs> Yeah, baby, this is the new toy. Check this thing out. Yes, some of you are thinking, Bug, that looks like a big kid's power wheels. Yeah, that's, that's what I think it looks like too, or even a mini G. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of the Rebel, which is the name of it, before we take it right up into the mountains. So these machines are super cool. I'm way excited to have my hands on one. It comes with a 3,000 pound winch, um, LED headlights, it's got brights, and the thing is 100% street legal once you get it. The Rebel 4, 4 cents or 4 seater does have, you know, a really nice, good, sleek look to it. It's more of a competitor for like, you know, some of the Can-Ams, Razors, Rangers, but it's not built for crazy horsepower going up huge sand hills. It's more of your everyday reliable driver or trail rider if you want to use it for that. It does come with a full windshield, windshield wipers, nice beefy fender flares, mirrors, a cage, nice seats, even has a manual five-speed transmission which, which makes driving it around on the roads or trails 10 times more fun in my opinion. I really do love the simplicity of the interior. You know, you got your steering wheel, your cluster, and then it even comes with the radio and a sub with speakers. And you come to the back, just room for two more homies. That is where your air intake sits and the airflow goes to, which the engine sits in the back. I will pop the hood, but you can kind of get a glimpse of it right there. You do have your tail lights, your tow hooks, and even comes with a hitch. It is a Churi engine, which is basically a competitor with Toyota, similar replica of it. You know, reliable, gets a lot of miles on it. It lasts a long time and very simple to work on. As you can see, just a little four banger 
but it does the job, gets the job done, and it works. I'm saying the same <laughs> over and over. <laughs> this one does also have aftermarket wheels and tires. The black wheels, this is a nice contrast against that orange. Here's another close up though of the suspension in the rear end, and then I'll get you one in the front. Here is that front end suspension. I am just really impressed with the quality of it, the looks. Now I gotta go up into the mountains again, like I said, for my first time and see how it performs, uh, crawls, and all that fun stuff. You guys are all along for the ride with drone footage, camera footage, and whatever else comes to be. So not only did we, I just get one of these, there's another one there. There's some more right over there. We have a total of seven from two seaters, four seaters, you know, a ton of different colors, performance packages, and whatnot. We here, um, you guys, if you've been following the channel for a while, you would have known that me and my family, we have our own dealership where we sell cars and trailers and all sorts of crazy stuff happens behind the scenes. Well, now to add even more on the list of craziness, we have became a dealer for these rebels. Alrighty, sitting in the captain's pit, ready to go rip this thing right up in Utah's beautiful mountains with my beautiful girlfriend. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think this is gonna be fun, let's get it. Yeah. Just one more pit stop, I promise, before we are up in the mountains. I do gotta put fuel in this, and finding out where the fuel fill up is, I have no idea, so I'm just gonna, I think someone said it's under here, but I don't know how this opens yet. Again, I'm, this is my first time really putting use on this. Okay, we're good. There's a latch under the steering wheel I found. So we'll pop this up. And this is where we put some fuel in. Don't mind me just putting fuel on the, the front of my little power wheels. Just, you know, your everyday stuff. up to one of my favorite wheeling areas in the beautiful state of Utah. We're in Bountiful. Just look at that view, and we haven't even gone to the top of the trail. Our shop's located just right down there, so that's cool with these being street legal. We didn't have to put it on a trailer, pull it with my truck. We just got to drive it here, and now we get to enjoy them. Would you guys just look at that view? It does not get any more beautiful than that. So far, I'm getting some good use out of this rebel as you can tell it's already getting a little muddy from that you know mini pond down there and then there's all sorts of trails down this face up all over some crazy styled whoops over there we can go through and flex with that being said we have this beautiful view this awesome rig and my awesome camera with the drone i think that calls for some awesome footage check it out Show no fear, show no fear, think of me by your side All is clear, all is clear, know what we have to do Show no fear, show no fear, baby it'll be alright I know that it's hard being apart, but soon I'll be there with you
show no fear, think of me by your side. All is clear, all is clear, know what we have to do. Show no fear, show no fear, baby, it'll be alright. I know that it's hard being apart, but soon I'll be there with you. drone our sun is almost completely down I think that calls it for the drone footage all right Alicia <laughs> they're over there screaming having a you know a good old time laughing because that's what life's all about just laughing having fun if you're not doing that every single day you're not doing it right I'm telling you it is now Alicia's turn <laughs> to get inside the cockpit of the rebel because it is a manual transmission and I've taught her in older videos how to drive a manual so let's see how she does. All right, here goes Alicia's <laughs> first attempt in the Rebel. Let's see how you do. Okay, put it in first. Throw first. her in first. Put in that clutch. Okay. Slowly let out the clutch and slowly give it gas and take off. <laughs> Don't record this. I got to. You're under pressure. No, I'm like 70,000. Oh, yeah. What? Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah. Oh, baby. talking about <laughs> I feel like we're in Jurassic World right now getting chased by a bunch of dinosaurs oh my this is so stressful being in a passenger seat with her all right suede what do you think about these rebels so far man I think they're awesome that's everyone everyone needs one a rebel for you a rebel for you everyone gets rebels you need a second exit this is good Talk about a beautiful view, including that one. <laughs> you can't even see it, it's too dark. Wow, these are some of the things we take for granted in life, you guys. And you just gotta be real appreciated to wake up every single day. You never know when you're gonna have your last breath. And just be thankful you get to enjoy these things when some people don't. And as you can tell, we have both Rebels back in the shop. That was a very, very successful, you know, willing trip to say the least. It was my first time ever driving this. And I have to say, I am impressed. That was so much fun, as you could tell from the footage of the edit. And these things, they're brand new, literally. Uh, this one has like seven miles, and that one I think had four miles. And we really just broke them in, and zero issues on both of them. Now, I am going to be giving you guys an honest review because that's what you know this channel is all about. If you guys are interested in these but are looking for something to just go super crazy fast up a hill, extremely fast this is not this isn't the thing for you this is a different demographic of someone that you know wants something that comes street legal out of the box to drive around the neighborhood around town you know 
or if you want to take it on some dirt roads, some trail riding, or some you know playing around like we did tonight. If you're in that market, I highly recommend one of these things. I'm still smiling. I smiled that whole time. These are a blast. If that's the case and you are interested in these, and again, we have multiple options because we became a dealer for them. We have you know like four four seaters, three two seaters, extremely different colors on all of them, power steering on some, different wheels, all sorts of crazy options. If you guys wanna look into that some more, there will be a link for these in the description down below. It'll take you right to these, show you all the information. You can ask us questions, whatever. Muddy, that's the only downfall to this is tomorrow morning I get to come in and detail this and get it looking good again, just like new, but it is totally worth it. I do hope every single one of you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please scroll down and leave a like. The thumbs up, it helps a ton. It helps the video grow. It means a lot and it truly just shows your guys' appreciation and the hard work I spend in editing and filming these videos to make bangers. Leave a comment down below on what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on these. You know, I'm, I'm quite curious. If you don't like it or you don't like it because of this, let me know. If you love it um, and you love it because it can do this or it's this, whatever. I'm just really curious on everyone's opinions and you know, favorite color options. Leave them down below in the comment section. I'd love to read through them and answer you back. And for all of you that think these things look like full-size adult power wheels or mini Jeeps, what do you think it looks more like? I'm gonna have to say an adult-size power wheels. You remember those little things, you know? You're like, I don't know, five or six, you're mobbing around on the sidewalk, running stuff over, little electric cars. That's what these remind me of, but then again, it does look like a mini Jeep. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below letting me know. I will see you all in the next vlog. If you guys wanna see these again in future vlogs, let me know down below in the comment section. And I always talk about the comment section because I read almost every single comment and I reply back to almost every single comment. So. Let me know what you thought of the video, what you think of the machines. Just say, hey bug, what's up? Let me know what your favorite food is. Whatever, I just love to chit chat with you guys. Truly do love every single one of you and am beyond grateful for all of the support, whether it's liking the videos, very grateful for that. Commenting, thank you. Buying the merch, which I don't ever plug because I don't want to come off as a sellout to you guys. And I do this because I love it. Or the stickers. It means a lot, you guys are the best. I have the best fan base, subscribers, Family, you bugsters and baguettes, I love you. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Show no fear, show no fear. Think of me by your side. All is clear, all is clear.